the way I, maybe I had grew up uh, with a single mom and, you know, $20 for her, you know, to her name for, for food. Same, I, I know. same here. Same oh, yeah. single mom. My mom raised all of us by herself, man. You know, of course, with the help of my dad here and there, but uh, they separated when I was young. My mom did it all, man. I owe, my, I owe everything. The same boat, but yeah, man. Uh, big family on both sides. My mom and dad. I got probably like maybe 15 brothers and sisters all together. Big family, man. So, it was so in high school is when you really decided that was it. I, I think this is what I really want to do and, and started pursuing it, or how did that come about? Actually, man, I thought I was going to be a football player. I thought I was going to be playing in the oh, NFL. Okay. I, I, okay. Was, I, I felt I was that good, uh, especially because I didn't even work at it. It came natural to me uh, because I was an athlete all my life, so I really thought I was going to be a football player. Football player. And when that didn't go as planned because of unforeseen circumstances, the coaches had a coach. Coach. I had a coach. I had a coach. And I had a coach that um, that was withholding recruitment letters for certain players. You know what I'm saying? And, oh, um, yeah, mostly it was players of dark complexion. Um, I remember it actually made the news, man. I'm sitting at home watching the news and flashed across the screen, Lamar Consolidate. I'm like, oh, what? The 90s, until recently, I kind of found my calling. I kind of fell back in love with what I've always done, which was uh, acting. I get a call saying, hey, man, I got a role for you. I want you to be in this movie that I'm shooting. And, you know, I'm not asking any questions. I'm like, I get to be in a movie? <laughs> oh, man, let's go. <laughs> Man, uh, so 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 now, uh, so so what do you get? What are you into that now? After that movie's done, what role has that put you into next? Yeah, I've been getting like, <clears throat> I've been getting calls from different people in the city doing uh, different projects, and I'm not opposed to working with anybody. <laughs> That's next time. Interview. Next time I want to go live. Okay. Yeah. yeah we're going to the podcast. It's going to be like, uh, it's going to be, well, it's just like TMZ. They got a live show and then they oh, edit yeah, it. And then yeah. at six o'clock, they give you yeah. the edited version. So, I watched but he, uh, yeah, I Eddie, Eddie, I watched Eddie the live one because it's more exciting. Eddie has, uh, he, he shot, a, he had a show for how many years? Five years? Sure, yeah. Five yeah. years. And he, of course, he had Slim. He had everybody on, uh, yeah. had everybody on the show. Little on Flip. Music, little I flip. started doing it. Yeah, I started doing it. Okay. Whenever. Now. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, he's like, what? Like <laughs> <We're> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's all right. We'll put that on the preview, on the, on the extracts. <laughs> Get comfortable. All, all right. right. All right, guys. Hey, welcome to Chasing Our Dreams. Uh, we got Eddie V in the house. What's up? What's up? We got DJ Derek Jackson. I want to go ahead and start off and say thank you for coming out to our show. Really appreciate that. Thanks for having me. All right, man. And also, I want to give shout outs to our sponsors. We have uh, Realty by Jenny and yes. also Jenny's Tax Service. Uh, take a look at her information. And then we also have AV Studios. Take a look at that information also. There you go. Uh, mad love to them. Mad love to uh, all, all three companies. We appreciate it. And, uh, you know, we're going to go ahead and go to this, uh, just straight into it, guys. I, I'm just cut, 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 you know, I'm going to cut it. And, uh, ah, shit, I can't say. Don't worry, man. All right, all right. <laughs> all right guys. Take, all right, guys. So I'm going to just jump right into it with Derek. So, Derek, what, uh, who, who is Derek? Where did Derek come from? Like, you know, where, uh, where, where'd you grow up at? Man, I grew up in a uh, small town uh, about 40 miles from here, Richmond, Richmond, Texas. Oh, Richmond, Texas. Man, okay. Yeah. Up in Richmond, Texas, man. In the, uh, in the, uh, in the <coughs> 80s. <coughs> 80s? Yeah. That's the good one. Hey, that's the best year. I think the 80s was the best year. Exactly. Anything, yeah. I don't see anything wrong with the 80s. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I grew up in the 80s, man. Richmond, when it was a lot different than it is now. But, um, man, I was an athlete as a kid. All through school, high school, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just well, Richmond back then, though, it wasn't a lot of white. Yeah, 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 it really was, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I was like, Richmond. A lot I, different than it is now. Is it is? Yeah. Is it more, is it more? It has become more diverse, man. Diverse yeah, since, it has, since, since then, anyway, but um, then it was, it was a lot more, you know, 
I remember getting some. Getting uh, some slack, some struggle. Yeah, yeah. Was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, from from uh, like teachers and coaches and shit. Really? Yeah. So were you were you, were you an athlete? Did you participate or participate in anything? Yeah, in school I, or anything? yeah. I, mean, I played everything actually, man. I was a uh, three uh, three sport athlete. I played basketball, ran track, and I played football. But football is what I kind of shine. Shine in. Yeah. I was an all state cornerback. I was about to say you look like a safety or a quarterback. Yeah, I, played, I played DB, man. Did you? I was a I was a, I was a DB too, but I don't think I was <laughs> as good as you. I could just tell by the, the I was physique a, already. <laughs> I was a center and a left tackle. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> everybody got to play a position, man. There you go. That takes all of them to win. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, uh, so basically, we're here to talk about your film 360. You know, and also you pursuing your uh, your films. You know, your acting and so forth. Yeah. Uh, how did you? How did you get off into acting? Man, that's been a passion of mine, man. Honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. I've been, I've, I've been, uh, I guess, doing plays since probably elementary. You know. Oh, okay. Those elementary school plays, and you got to go in. And, yeah. You know, Christmas plays, and just yeah. a lot of those, and then. But I guess when I really got into theater was a junior in high school when I really felt like, man, hey, this is something I think I might want to, I want to do. And oh. I took two years of theater. Let me ask you something real quick because yeah, yeah. when I do the play, I, I got stage fright all I mean automatically. I was just like <laughs> people like right now, you know what's so funny about about since I've started this, you know, I can talk on TV like nothing. I can I, I, I anything I can do now. But when I was younger, I couldn't I, I, I was scared I was gonna re- forget my lines, I was gonna be embarrassed and stage fright. As soon as I saw a person, even if I played a damn tree, I was gonna freeze <laughs> up and like, what you're supposed to do, I would fucking freeze up. So uh, you didn't have stage fright at all, or did, did you even? Did. Why don't people get that? I, I, I asked so many people and they get And it's probably because man, I the things that I did on stage I was already doing at home. Really? Like, I was singing and dancing, doing all that stuff at home anyway as a kid throughout the day. You know, you know how you um Parents have a little get together, yeah, and yeah. it's really time for you to go to bed. But they want you to come on, yeah, yeah. You put on <laughs> the show, dance for them, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you were that guy, yeah, right? Yeah. I was that kid. Yeah, you were that kid. Yeah. That's awesome. Was, I, I was that too, but I still got stage fright. They were telling me do the do the do the because I like kiss. As back in the I'll do the kiss thing and I'll do the, the, the guitar. But I, I don't know. Maybe I was high because they were getting high back then. <laughs> <laughs> so, so so let's go let's go into that. I mean, you you perform in front of your family. Uh, what's your family background? You have a brother, sisters. Man, I am the youngest of eight uh, brothers and sisters, man. Um, my brother and sister, like, literally my oldest brother is 20 years older than I am. So the age oh, wow. gap. Yeah, my mom, I was late. I was a, uh, uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> my mom and dad had me when I was, like, when they were 40, man. Oh, and wow. I, wow. I kind of follow that trend. Start my, all over. Yeah, my kids are uh, 22, and then I got a two-month-old. So, okay. yeah, they're in the kind of same boat. But, yeah, man, uh, big family. On both sides, my mom and dad. I got probably like maybe 15 brothers and sisters all together. Big family, man. So it was nothing. Like stage fright was never a thing for me. Because we, we had all these, you know, brothers and sisters. And so you've been performing they, since you were you were yeah. in, in front of the family. There's yeah. no worse you can do than that. They're going yeah. to tell yeah. you right yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the worst, man. And, and then the way you had came up, I mean, there's people who were, you know, born with silver spoons in their mouths because they had a real nice family and everything like that. There's yeah. people... You know the way I maybe I had grew up uh, with a single mom and you know twenty dollars her you know to her name for for food. Same, I, I know. same here, same oh, yeah. single mom. My mom raised all of us by herself, man. You know, of course, with the help of my dad here and there, but uh, they separated when I was young. You know, so my mom did it all, man. I owe, my, I owe everything to my mom, literally, man. My dad's passed away. I love my dad, but my mom did it all by herself, basically. Got you. Yeah, literally, hands down, my mom did it. And with doing with that happening, did you get into? You mean? When I would come from a single mom, I was able to be out in the streets. I was able to do what I want, get into trouble. Were you that kid or were you I the was one? Not that, I was that kid with a kid knocking on the door <laughs> saying, uh, can Derek come out and play? Like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's the sun's going down. Like, well, wow. Nice went out, I had to be home, man. So I was, had strict. Yeah, I was, that, I was that kid. Man. So in high school is when you really decided that was it. I, I think this is what I really want to do and, and started pursuing it. Or how did that come about? Actually, man, I thought I was going to be a football player. I thought I was going to be playing in the oh, NFL. Okay. I, I, was, okay. I, I felt I was that good, um, especially because I didn't even work at it. Like, it came natural to me uh, because, I mean, I was an athlete all my life, so I really thought I was going to be a, a football player. Football and player. then when that didn't go as planned because of unforeseen circumstances, you know, coaches, I had a coach. Coach? I had a coach. Why would a 
A coach. Man, I had a coach that um that was withholding recruitment letters for certain players, you know what I'm saying? And, oh, uh, shit. Yeah, mostly it was players of, you know, darker complexion. And um, I remember it actually made the news, man. I'm sitting at home watching news, and they flashed across the screen, Lamar Consolidate. I'm like, oh, what the? And it was him, man. It was uh, talking about how he was holding, wasn't giving the players a recruitment letter. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I got a few offers, but it wasn't to um, the school that I guess he felt he wanted me to go to. Gotcha. So, yeah. So he just felt not to give you the letters. He yeah, trashed them. So when that dream died, man, I started a family early, straight out. I mean, you know, I'm in freshman in college with a family already. And, wow, uh, that's a struggle in yeah. itself, right yeah. there. Yeah, but we did good, man. I can't complain. We did good. You know, what kind of work were you doing at that point? At that point in time, man, I was working for the state. I was a prison guard, dude. Oh, uh, all right. Yeah, I, I see I, you. I was, I was a prison officer. Let me say correctional officer. Correctional. I did that for uh, seven and a half years. Uh, that was '90s until recently. I kind of found my calling. Where I kind of fell back in love with what I've always done, which was, you know, acting. And through all that time that you were in the, a prison guard, you never just you just that was it. You didn't. That was it. I was living life, man. Just working just nine working. to five, just trying right. to pay bills like everybody else. Man. What made that point that you transferred and said, "Hey, I think this is what I'm going to do." Did something pop in or some? Somebody say, hey, I got this opportunity. That's exactly what happened. Yeah. Uh, the opportunity <laughs> rang, you know what I mean? And it was an opportunity I couldn't pass up. And basically, it was, uh, I get a call saying, hey, man, I got a role for you. I want you to be in this movie that I'm shooting. And, you know, I'm not asking any questions. I'm like, should I get to be in a movie? <laughs> oh, man, let's go. And I'm thinking in my head, you know, it's probably going to be a little background role, me walking by carrying something. You know, <laughs> they're, right. they're, 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 look, look for me. I'm the third person from yeah. the back. <laughs> and I think that's how it was supposed to start off. Okay. But uh, fortunately and unfortunately for the guy that the role I took, uh, he, he backed out last minute. He backed out. He was like, man, I'm not going to be able to make it. So the role came about to where uh, in Brick City where I played the uh, character Cortez. Right. Uh, that was the character. And that role ended up being a, a starring role. So well, did, uh, what was that movie called? Though? The first movie you got into? Br Brick City. Brick City? Okay. Brick City. And I went from not acting at all to the lead role in the movie. All right. And let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to throw a trailer on there for you right now. Let's take a look at that real quick. No doubt. All right, check it out. So 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 now uh, so so what do you get what are you into that now after that movie's done what role has that put you into next? Man, I've been getting like <clears throat> I've been getting calls from different people in the city for doing uh, different projects, and I'm not opposed to working with anybody at all. I just I've been kind of really really busy lately, man. So after that project, we started filming um, another project, um, and Brick City is also I'm, I, I throw it out there it's showing it's airing on Tubi TV. We got over a million streams. Congratulations. Uh, Brick City, thank you. Brick City. Yeah. Make sure y'all check that out. Yeah. <laughs> check out Brick City. I'll, 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 also one, I'll have the link also to uh, cool. do that for you also. We're going to throw some, uh, some links out there for you also. Uh, now, uh, on, on Brick City, you play a character, Cortez. Now, give us a little bit about that, uh, uh, if you can. I can give a little a bit. A little bit. Yeah. I, well, not the whole <laughs> thing. You got to tease us. Yeah, yeah. To, to okay. I play. But uh, Cortez is a conflicted character, man. Uh, <clears throat> he's got one, in the, one foot in the streets and then... The other foot in his professional life, which I'm not, um, I can't say. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, you gotta watch it. Gotta watch it. Gotta watch it. Cause I see you playing a, a hard character. Yeah, I can see yeah. you. I'd be scared of you if I saw you on the street. And I enjoy playing that. Character. <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was a good character to play. Well, they, um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Um, now you don't think you'll get typecast in that role? I mean, you know, what? are you more? Do you feel like you would be a comedian or uh, or, or a serious? Drama. I think I can do it all, oh, man. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but if you look at the work that I've done so far in the past maybe two and a half years that I've been filming, uh, I played Cortez. Cortez. <laughs> I played a um, 
in a movie called The Closet, which now it's got switched up to it's going to be called Purgatory. They got picked up by a major uh, distributor. Oh, wow. Yeah, awesome. so it's got, uh, I played a character called Dumache. That was after Brick, uh, Brick City. He's a uh, he was like a witch doctor, uh, voodoo priest type guy. Okay. I got the accent, you know, the whole thing, the whole nine going. The whole you got that dark voice, too. That, yeah, that, that, thing, that deep voice. Like, yeah, if it don't get the ladies, it's going to get, gonna get <laughs> Thunderstorm over here. <laughs> and after that one, man, The Closet, which, like I said, now it's called Purgatory. It'll be out uh, later this year. Catch that um, movie. Yeah. Uh, we went from, from that to uh, Queen, The Awakening, where I get okay. to play a vampire. And what, 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 which name in that role? I, I play a character called Horace. Okay. All right, and uh, we're also going to hit get you a, a trailer on that right now. So let's go and check that trailer out too next. Check it out, guys. Queen the Awakening. Welcome home, brother. What brings you? He has requested that I bring a contribution. Yet you come empty-handed. Do not let your anger blind you. Why hasn't your God delivered you from this madness? You should hold your tongue before you lose it. Why do we, the ultimate predators, have to hide while our prey is to roam around freely? There aren't enough nights to tell you how long we've anticipated the coming times. Most, if not all, are more eager for the elders' sleep to end than others. I choose my destiny. Whatever just happened wasn't by coincidence. She wasn't one of us. You're right. She's nothing like us. She's an elder. Was pretty exciting, <laughs> what? a little scary there. <laughs> <laughs> the visual yeah. effects are pretty nice in that movie. I love I it. I mean, it looked really so. Where, where, where are the where's the, where the movie shot at? Everything shot here locally in Houston. Yeah. Uh, everything that I've shot so far is in Houston. That's with Brick City, uh, Purgatory, uh, Queen, and now I'm actually shooting uh, the prequel, which is the sequel to uh, Horus, uh, which is Queen. I'm sorry, to Queen, which is called Horus. And you're, and you're doing that currently right now? Yeah, I'm filming Horace now, and that's the character that I play in Queen. Um, Will I be able to get a, uh, a little trailer on that pretty soon, or is it yeah, already out there? Yeah, there's a trailer out now. We actually like three trailers out, I think, on Horace. Okay. I definitely, I'm definitely going to get those out for you, for sure. I always wanted to know, uh, when you are filming, how long does it... Because uh, you hear some of these movies are like a year long... You know, they got different scenes. Do, do, does it, is, is, is it depend on it, how, how, well, how that works? It's time consuming because yeah. you, you got the filming and then you have the editing and they got to put it all together. So Brick City, we shot, <laughs> we shot, oh, it took over a year to shoot Brick City. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I follow, yeah. I can, but I can imagine. the company that I've been shooting for is 360 Film Group, man. These dudes are uh, Chris Davidson and Trevor Ford. These dudes shout are awesome. Out. Shout out to yeah. Chris. They literally... We'll film a movie, man, in months. Because like, oh, Brick City, work. yeah, Brick City was, a, and it is a lot of work because it's just them too. But Brick City was our first film. Okay, we literally shot that on the fly. Like there was hardly any script. Right, we come in to work that day to be like, hey, uh, we got this scene. I need you to say this and act like this, and then and then run with it. Okay. And so a lot of that was basically ad lib, yeah, and just going like with it, feeding off each other. Wow. But after that, Queen, we had a full script. And I said we shot Queen maybe in. Five six months, and uh, yeah, same with uh, Purgatory, man. So they getting them in and out, literally uh, putting films out like it's like that's nobody awesome. else is doing, man. Yeah, that's, well, that's that's just work, man. That's yeah. grinding, grinding. You try chasing, to get man, chasing the dream, chasing the dream is what it is. So, uh, so, so, so you said that you're doing it in a short time. You're doing a lot of work. Uh, do you have? Are you working also to support that family or anything like that? I so do, you have this, you know. yeah. and then you mentioned you had the new baby too. Yeah, man. And then of course, uh, you, uh, your family also, like your your sons, your daughters, and yeah. your wife. I so mean, and how does that correspond with you taking away from that to go in and, and taking more time out to, into that? I mean, how is that? How does that work? I got a good support system. My wife, yeah. man, she's very oh, supportive. Yeah, she's very supportive, man. And like, if I got something to do, like as a matter of fact, 
June, I have to go to Florida to film. So I'll be gone four days. And she's like, I, I mean, I got it while you go. She got the kids. And plus her sister's helping us out, too. So you yeah. have to have the support. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It makes it's a difference. Engineer. Until I can say, hey, I'm done doing this. I'm just focused on this, which is going to be probably uh, this year. Well, I'll just say I'm just acting 100%, nothing else. Yeah. I mean, I got to poke in there real quick. It, it, has it not been any kind of restraint 100% uh, or where she has 100% your back? Or has there been, hey, listen... You know, there's always some other other partners that give you a bit of slack, or it's pretty much been pretty easy for you. It's been pretty easy, That's man, with, with with her because, like I said, man, she she understands what it is. Um, I wouldn't say she's in the business, but she's uh in the night, the night business. Okay, cool. Uh, so she she she's worked just as hard as I have done. But what, what does she do? She's a general manager for uh, two uh, two sports bars here in Houston. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I don't give my we'll give my plug. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, no uh, Atomic Bottle. She's a GM there. Off of Richmond, and then the other one is a door, which is uh, downtown. Okay, awesome. All right, guys. Yeah, check those places out too, guys. <laughs> shout out, everyone. Here. Um, I, I I have another question. I know that when we we talk about this show, it's it's chasing the dream, chasing the dream. and I know what that's right there. And you coming in, where do you see yourself? Like I know what you want, what we all want is that. Where do you see yourself, like, in two or three years? Man, two or three years. Um, Acting full time, full time, just literally making a living from acting, doing something I love to do. Yeah, yeah. and that's the dream that you're chasing. Yeah, that's and definitely the dream. I'm full time, full time on. actor. Whereas I don't have to clock in at a nine to five. It's just this is what I'm doing. Yeah. Do you have a, a morning routine? What motivates you? Man, my kids are my motivation, man. Plus the love of what I have to do. But my kids, man, uh, waking up in the morning. And right now, <clears throat> the job that I have is I don't have a set schedule. Yeah. So I may have to just, well, it's a good and bad, because I may have to be in at yeah, 2 o'clock one morning, and next morning may not be till 7 o'clock. Right. So, you know, being that that schedule doesn't afford me a lot of time to spend time with my family, that's another reason I really want to be able to just say, hey, let me do this, and we can manage with, without this and just do that. Got you, got you. She's, she's behind me. She keeps telling me. Why don't you just quit? <laughs> it's like, hard, right? We need insurance. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we got the hey, baby. Uh, yeah. Want to get them? I gotta get my teeth fixed. No, yeah, <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta, before exactly I go, I, I got what I, my knees been acting up for yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. it's, I mean, I've, I, I've been blessed, you know, to be able to to, to, to leave my 20, 21 years in the car business, you know, leaving that, that leaving that behind, yeah. uh, to go full time and to and to. You know, going, you know, running, uh, you know, running with entrepreneurship. You know, that's what I'm doing now. That's what, and that kind of, that's what started this up. You know, chasing our dreams. Chasing dream. yeah. uh, and it's, you know, it's been a strain on me. Like I'm used to going 90 miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, different world. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy. Yeah, that's true. It, it goes 100 100 miles real quick. I have a question about the kids. Are they following in the footsteps? You see them dancing on the floor because <laughs> I know you said your kids, and I know and they'll start at a young age. They acting a fool already. Uh, are they they doing the same thing? Or my middle son, he was actually had a cameo in Brick City. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, but my daughter, the three year old. Natural man. Natural. I'm, I'm telling you, the uh, the owner, one of the owners, is already asking her. You think she's ready for the camera? <laughs> like, because, we got a rope for her already. <laughs> the, the videos my wife posts, man, she is hilarious. Really, she is hilarious, man. Uh, she's, she's a character. I keep telling her like, we need to just move to Hollywood and, and start with yeah. her. Like, yeah. she's gonna be the one. Right. Yeah, I'll probably be working for her pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> She's already a ham, huh? Yeah. 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 Well, they say, uh, that's why I was, I was asking her, they say, you know, they f you get into it, they see you, they're definitely going to want she does. She loves, she like, uh, Vampire Dad? Vampire yeah. <laughs> She likes to watch the little vampire, the trailer. She likes yeah, to watch I, the I, I, I saw that. It's kind of crazy. She, she memorized, she knows the words from the trailer already. Which wow, is crazy. that's going to be three? awesome. Yeah. Is she going to be able to see this one, or is it? Yeah, it's good, man. It's, it's, it's family friendly. Oh, is it? Okay. okay. It's family friendly. Okay. It's and not, it was gory. gory. No, nothing gory. Like I said, man, I've been wanting to play. A, I've been a vampire in my life five times for Halloween. So you okay. understand. Like, oh, oh, it it came natural. Huh? <laughs> how, how excited I am to even just play this character, man. Wow. Horace, Horace is a good character. I enjoy playing Horace. And I'll get to play him a few more times because there's going to be, uh, it's like, a, it's like a, um, a series. A series? Yeah. Okay. So we got Queen and then Horace. And then there's going to be uh, a few more after that. So. I get to play oh, you're definitely gonna have to check that one out. You got, you got definitely plug that one in again, or even before you come out. Yeah. When is that supposed to come out? 
Horace, we're actually still filming. We're okay. Almost, we're almost wrapped up with it. Okay. Uh, and that's, like I said, I, that's the character I play, Horace, man. But it's, uh, I'm excited about this one. I'm excited about all the future projects. Man. That's awesome. That's I, awesome. I, I love it. Uh, <laughs> I mean, so. Might get y'all on something, man. Huh? Hey. Seriously, get y'all on something. I do it. I play the Mexican. I, 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 I play. I play the pony. You be horse. I, I'll be the donkey. <laughs> I want. I, 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 I want to get a shot. You know, I want to play a death row or something. Tell me, be that. I'm Jason. donkey. Horses. Is, is, so, is, so chasing his dreams. Have you? What has? I mean, well, there's always pros and cons to anything that we do in life. What, what was? The, what's the? What's the con about this? I mean, we we all say we have you know all the positive things that we do, but what actually has there been any cons about? You know, doing the, the double role. What's what's the what's the worst part of it? Has, has there been any issues, or what? Uh, you know, what is there anything there? The, the only the only thing that I can say probably that is, and it's not a bad thing, man. But it, the bad thing, I guess, I don't want to say bad thing because <clears throat> it's being constantly busy. I'm, and that's not, that's a good thing because I constantly have scripts here and I got to memorize this yeah. and here and here. And I'm like, man, I don't. I'll pick. I'll go to one set and like, damn. You didn't have it. Yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm still, because I, I got this character in mind, I got to be this character, and it's like, man, so for me still, it's learning how to separate the characters, because I like to try to get it all in. Like, right. if I have three different films I'm filming, because later I'm filming two at one time. Oh, wow. So I'm like, reading, I'm studying this one, then I read and study this one. So it's a really, it's a separation for me that I'm having yeah. trouble with now. Yeah. Uh, I'll get on set, and I'm, I'm not being the person that I'm supposed to be. Gotcha. So it's, that's the only bad thing. But are, you, are you pretty hard on yourself? I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely my worst. Your worst critic? Yeah. It was hard for me at first to watch myself on film. I couldn't do it. We would shoot Brick City, and I, and I wouldn't watch it. I wouldn't watch the, uh, the clips. No? Nah, I couldn't do it. But now it's, uh, it's gotten a lot better. Even to hear myself, it's different. Um, okay, you played on Brick City. You played, what was the character's name? Cortez. Cortez. You didn't take that character home, did you? <laughs> I, I didn't take him home. I didn't. But that character I, could have been easily the one that I could have. Yeah. Because the other characters are so far fetched. You know, um, Dumache was a uh, was a complex character. Uh, Horace is oh, Horace. Is, Horace <laughs> is a pretty complex character, but he's a lot easier to play. Okay. Uh, because I just I just love vampires. But uh, Dumache man was a very 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 tough character to, to, uh, to uh, keep up. Keep up with, yeah, yeah. yeah. And do you have any kind of advice for any uh, anybody trying to chase their dreams? I mean, or, or you know, venturing out. I don't mean, don't stop, man. Just don't quit. Don't quit. That's true. I don't care what it is, man. What it is you're doing, whatever dream you're chasing, uh, just don't quit. Don't give up because you never know. I know there's a there's a there's a picture or a meme or something where there's this guy, these two guys, and they're uh, they have picks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and you know what I'm saying? You already know where I'm going. One's picking. They got the diamonds, and this one, he's almost there. Oh, yeah, I've seen yeah, that. Yeah, yes. Yeah, I've seen it. And he saw that one diamond and went over there. Yeah, got you. I know what you're that is. No. And then he stops, and he was only one and there was away. Uh, yeah. Uh, from 30 the diamond, diamonds. The guy yeah. went, can't yeah. quit, man. That's, yeah. the, that's the only advice, man. Right. I'm that's not, true. I'm, I'm never going to quit. There's no age limit on doing what I'm doing. I right. can be 80 years old still. And, and, and I mean, I mean. Playing a role. Yeah, yeah. Starting out in, in the, this career, I mean, this is the last two, three years, and you're, I mean, I, I'm starting my new career at, at 40 years old after being 21 years yeah, in another career. How, 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 do, how do you feel about that? I mean, what do you, you know, I, how does it make you feel? I mean, I, it makes me feel good because honestly, I think that had I, had I started acting earlier, 20s and 30s, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at now. Uh, I wouldn't have appreciated it more. I think I appreciate it now because uh, it took me so long to get here. Like right. literally in the past two and a half, three years, man, I have two films out, four films shot, and two of which are streaming on six different streaming sites, and the next one is going to be out doing the same thing. Like we have over almost almost two million streams gotcha. on uh, on two movies. Is anybody else in your family uh, like musically inclined, or are they? Uh, also following any kind of their dreams, or I mean, cause I'm trying to figure out like, just was it you by yourself that did this, or did you see anybody else doing it, or did anybody else try to follow follow you? Man, my brother kind of inspired me to want to be in entertainment. I've always well, let me let me back. I've always wanted to be in entertainment. I remember fourth grade, we did a talent show, we won first place. 
basically saying uh, Candy Girl by New Edition. Oh, really? <laughs> nice. 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 When I say we rehearsed. That was a good song to sing. Yeah, that was. That was a good one. Rehearsed, like for four months straight. Uh, on our own. Had a dance routine and everything. Dance, <laughs> our, own, our own dance steps. Everything was our own. We were kids. We were like, yeah. you know, 11, 12 yeah. years old. Yeah. But uh, my brother had signed uh, with Scarface back in the 90s. Okay. My brother signed with Scarface and rap a lot. So he, he was, you know, he was actually living with uh, Face for a minute. So to see him doing that, man, that just let me know that I can pursue my dreams as well. Yeah. I can do with what I want to do. So we did that for a while. Now, I know you said you don't really watch her because you're hard on yourself, but have you ever watched, like, like I've done interviews before, and I, when I first started doing my interviews, I noticed that I said, and, 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 and I would stutter a lot. I mean, I, I got I to gotta check myself on that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and I kind of, I learned a lot by watching myself. Have you ever went back and then I do. said, and then it's like, oh, no, no, yeah. I got to stop that. I yeah. got to. <laughs> I, gotta, I critique myself uh, a lot. Even even on filming, I'm, I, I'll film something and go back, and I'm like, Man, I should have said this, I should have did this, I should have looked this way. Like right now, I'm, I'll know I'm, I'm probably. Man, I wish I should have had my hat on. <laughs> <laughs> First thing I said, okay, I forgot my hat. Yeah, yeah. I won't have my hat on, but yeah, yeah. But a lot of times, I see myself different, like nervousness, hand movement, right. stuff like right, that. Right, right, uh, right. I'll pick back up on it the next time. Next time you're like, hey, let's work on yeah. that. Yeah, I used, I was, man, I, I used to do that myself, and I'm like, oh, man, stop that. Stop jittering. <laughs> stop shaking. What are you going to do? And stop saying and. You know what I mean? But it's good when you got a good, I mean, we're just kind of having a conversation. That makes it a lot easier. Yeah. And that, and that, when I got into this five years ago, I went from there and said, you know, the, the what I've learned is uh, have a conversation like the cameras ain't even there. Yeah. Once you start talking to somebody, and then you talk, you're like, man, we're, we're just sitting here talking. Yeah, good and that's when the best stuff comes up. You know yeah. what I mean? That's that's what I learned. It's yeah. like, stop worrying, stop thinking about it so much and just exactly. talk. Don't think it, about yeah, it. Yeah, don't think about it and just talk. And that, that's why I was like, and, yeah. and I'm sure it comes like that in acting, acting but you're always like, way. man, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. You know, I should have. you definitely got to block the cameras off because you don't. Here it's okay. I mean, you don't look into the camera. Right, hey, right, right. right. But nah, in, the, in the acting, it's cut. Do it again. Yeah. Look into the camera. Like, <laughs> got how you. many cuts have you ever, have you ever had to do how many cuts is the most that you had to do on a certain thing because I see like, I, I cut 22 I'm Come actually on. pretty good when it Are comes you? to that I am but I've been on set where I'm laying down like I'm gonna take a nap because this dude is you know, like, horrible <laughs> he, he ain't gonna get it right over and over and over, <laughs> yeah but I, I, I can't lie I have messed up you know um, but like I work with a good director man he'll he'll fix it he'll be like man because we're He's he's in and out. He want to get it in. Get, get it out. out. Yeah. yeah. So so, uh, so let's go to let's, let's go to the director. You know this guy is giving you your you know got you hooked up with a shot. You know how did how John meet? I mean how did that? How what's that still a little small story there? Like how what's that story for that? Man, I uh, like I said, I just I got a phone call, but uh, I've been knowing Chris. Chris is actually my cousin. Okay. And he and Trevor, they are they're they're like this, been like this since like teenagers. So. Uh, when I got that phone call, man, I didn't hesitate at all because I knew, I mean, they wouldn't have me playing a crackhead. If they did, that was cool. <laughs> as long as I was, in I was gonna be Chris Rock. <laughs> yeah, I'll, 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 I'll play Samuel Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Samuel Whatever Jackson, is, Chris Rock. On. Give me one more. <laughs> but working with them, man, I always tell them. I said, man, you know, you. I don't know if y'all familiar with comics. Like I watch comics. I'm okay. old when I watch DC. Okay. There's yeah. a character called uh, Firestorm. Right. Okay. So Firestorm is the card character. He has there's two, but they come together to make one. Right. You got yeah. you got you got the athlete and you got the brain, the uh, the, the old white dude, uh -huh. and they come together to make one. And they probably one of the most powerful characters in DC. Hmm. He is when he comes together, and I feel like that with with them. Like when, when these two guys come together, man, it's it's beautiful. It's magic. They're making. I love it. So but so y'all just y'all yeah. hit it off. Y'all are just working yeah. together. I mean, I've noticed uh, certain movies that I watch out there. I mean, I, I'll see uh, the main character, and he continues to work with the same the same actors in all the different movies that he does. You know who did that? Spike Lee did that. Yeah, he did that with Denzel. Mm -hmm. And yeah. if you if you listen to them, if you let them tell it, you're like, man, you're gonna be our Denzel. So if you look at early Spike Lee movies, right. he used Denzel over. He used a lot of the same characters over. Right. And these yeah. guys do the same thing. They'll use a lot of the same actors over and over. So you'll see a lot of the same actors that were in Brick, Brick City. That's in Horace. Okay. You know, from Horace to Purgatory and then so on and so forth. So I'm glad you I'm glad you brought that up. I mean, uh, as far as that, is there any any is there any particular actors that you, that you follow that that you, you know, 
inspire, you guys inspire you and stuff like that? Or yeah, is there, is there, definitely, man, definitely. I, uh, who's your top, who's your top three or your top my, two? I'll give you my top, uh, right now because they switched. Uh, <laughs> they, they literally switch on performances right now. Denzel's always going to be. Oh, my yeah, top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love to work. With I just Denzel. saw his new movie that just came out. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> the little thing. I took, the yeah, little, little thing. Yeah. Crazy, crazy ending. I'm not going to kill it for anybody, but they, <laughs> y'all got to see yeah, it. It's kind of crazy. But Denzel, man. But you know who I think is uh, a beast right now? He's always been good to me. But just uh, watching him in uh, Judas and the Black Messiah, it's Lakeith Stanfield. Man, that dude is he's amazing, man. Like, you talking about, yeah, you talking about getting into yeah. character? Right. Man, that dude's good, man. Definitely, good. definitely got. I, I, uh, I would sit there and say when I, I see somebody that I admire, and, and for, for you it's film, your your roles that, do you take anything from him? Or do you, uh, or is it like a character? I know you got to get your mindset in character prior to. Now, do you do that the whole day, or does it come, did it come on there? No, uh, I'll, I'll, only when I get on set. And it depends on the character. Um you brought up Cortez earlier. When I was when I played Cortez for that long year, I, I I literally was I was Cortez at home. I was Cortez on set, and that's because that was my first film. I wanted to nail it. Nail it. Want, yeah, I didn't want to have. I didn't want to mess up. You right. know, especially when the role went from here to now. You're like, this is you know, but uh, yeah. Yeah. Do they let you ad lib a lot of, of what you do if they feel like you can take the character over? And that depends that's, on that, yeah. that's what I, I think would be awesome. I was like, man, let me let me play this guy. I'll know the words, let but let me play this it. guy. Every, every director's not like that. But yeah, that's what yeah. I was wondering. Do they yeah. let you? Yeah, because yeah. I know some directors, I would see uh, some of the making of the movies. They're like, he's letting me do a lot more yeah. than this. We just shot, I was just telling Edward, man, we just shot a, uh, we just shot a short film in two days uh, this past weekend. And it was more or less, he was like, man, y'all run with it. Just go. Right. You know, like, have a conversation. And it's us. So when you see this short film coming up, uh, sector five, um, you'll see that a lot of that it was just all ad lib. Mostly, literally, it was just ad lib. Mm -hmm. Us going back and forth, feeding off each other. That's awesome. Which that's not that's not hard. I mean, that's not easy. I can imagine. I mean, this is. I was nervous just even to start something like this. I I, <laughs> we, I talked to Eddie. I was like, bro. I mean, I you know I want to go live next. You know that that that's my next goal. You know I set goals so my so the next goal I have I want to go live next. I mean that's going to be. Maybe one or two more interviews, uh, <laughs> and my last, you know, my first interview was just, a, you know, the, the last one we did, and uh, you know, it was. I mean, that's why I wanted to make sure I, you, you, I, I believe in partnering up with people who who's, who's done something already that can teach you and, can, and got kind of like a mentor yeah, role. Yeah. Uh, that's what's always pushed me successful in my life was try to, you know, find somebody who's done something already, who's done very good with it, and right. just try to take, you know, take go underneath their umbrella and then learn from them. You know. Right. Uh, I'm not always trying to. Uh, how would you say? I'm not always trying to close the deal. I'm always trying to learn something. Yeah. You know, I'm trying to. So that's you know that's something I've seen today, and that's it made a, a lot of sense. That's a good point of view. Uh, yeah. So that being said, I mean, what uh, is there? So you, you want to go ahead and do it all now? You, I mean, your dreams are to whether it's a comedy, action pack, or do you have anything favorite? I mean, I know you say you want to do it all. I mean, to have it all, all thing, but is there anything that that actually like really is your favorite? Is is, is it the the uh, you know? The vampire things like really your favorite, or you, I mean, or do you see yourself doing like a a New Jack City, but, you know? Or, or I mean, that's I would love to do something like that, but that's my role, you know, Tony Montana, you know, <laughs> Scarface. That's my all, all you know, the Godfather. That's yeah, all that my stuff. Like Brick City. I, yeah, I, I really want to look into. I want to dive deep into. Um, I want to. I really want to get into a, a deep character, uh, a drama. Uh, drama. And actually, you know what? There is a character that uh, Trevor came up with that I play in a short film. Uh, which called Subject Eighty Six. I played a uh, character called Doctor Connor, and Doctor Connor is a very complex uh, character. Man, he's uh, he's a hypnotist. Um, he's a doctor of psychology, but this dude is uh, educated. Yeah, very, very. But he's uh, maniacal. He's mm -hmm. diabolical, and I can't wait. To well, that, that's I what you are. Yeah, something I can't wait deep. To bring him, yeah, I can't wait okay. to bring him uh, to life. Yeah, I would like that too. Cause I think I would get tight cast because I'm gonna be the dumbass, the funny one. <laughs> the funny I guy. already know. If you need a short Mexican, that's going to just forget the words or whatever. I just say that I'm gonna get tight cast because I don't think I got anything else. Yeah. So if you I, ever need a a, a short Mexican that, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be. That. 
<laughs> think about me, because yeah. I, I get tired. I, I don't think I can be serious at all. That's I, I already know I can't. I, I can't even be serious when I'm getting mad at my kids, you know, and they, they wreck a car. I'm still going to try to make a joke out of it. You know I'm, yeah, I'm the opposite, man. My, my kids think I'm like Mr. Strict person, you know. Uh, I, I've always tried to, you know, I've always tried to like, hey, mentor them. But I, it's because that's how my mom was with me. Yeah. I didn't have, I, you know, until fortunately it passed down. But I, now that we got an older, I, I kind of like I'm so different now with them, yeah. and, and that's what I want to get to, just like that, where man, you've become close and, and, and not just being that role of a that figure of that. that uh, uh, I don't yeah. want to be like right. that. You know? Well, my son is the, well, right now. His, this is his studio. I, know, I, 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 me and my son work close together because I opened oh, this good. studio for him. Yeah, he does engineering and music and uh, he's a music engineer. But I still, even when we disagree on on stuff. I make a joke out of it, and I get mad at him, but he knows I'm mad. I'm like, hey, Dad, you ain't going to do nothing. I'm like, wish, wish. yes, I will, someday. <laughs> he used to spank your ass back in the day. You remember those? I'm no. too old now. <laughs> but, yeah, that's oh, awesome. Shit. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. Oh, man, that's and, awesome. And, and how, how, how with this, all this, I mean, we're talking about the family and stuff, good relationships with the family. And oh, yeah. Kids, oh, yeah. are you a strict dad, too, or are you, you, you a... Um, Nah, no. <laughs> uh, I mean, my kids know when to like. Okay, he's oh, serious yeah. now. Yeah, right, right. But for the most part, man, I, I'm I'm the, I'm the fun, uh, kick back. You're the cool dad. dad. Yeah, yeah. I am. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am. I'm the cool dad. <laughs> yeah, that well, that's awesome being there. That's good to hear. Well, guys, uh, we're gonna wrap this up, man. I, again, I really, uh, really, really appreciate you coming out here, Derek, and uh, you know, and, you know, again, really, really appreciate this. Uh, your last words are right now, man. Uh, please go ahead and, you know, chasing our dreams and chasing our dreams, man. Please, yeah, definitely, man. If anybody out there, man, if y'all got, if you guys, man, y'all got a dream or anything that you're trying to do that you don't, that you don't, you actually feel like you're not going to be able to do it, or you maybe are hesitant or whatever you think it is, man, go for it. My advice to anybody is go for it, man. Chasing your dreams is what it's all about, literally. Uh, had I not chased my dream or given up when I felt like, nah, I probably can't do it, or I wasn't, right. I wasn't going to be successful at it, I wouldn't be here where I'm at, looking, talking to you guys right now, sitting with these gentlemen right here, man, with three films now streaming. You know what wow. I mean? That's working amazing, on. man. That's big. And That's I'm huge. not trying to, you know, I'm, you know, it's just what it is. I, I'm working constantly, and there are people that's been literally acting for years, man, that still don't have film. Streaming on any platform. Yeah. We're on Amazon. We're on Tubi TV. We are on um, streaming on Fandango now, Hulu, uh, Voodoo, or Hulu coming soon, Voodoo. So, I mean, we're working, man. Oh, that's awesome. We're working. That's awesome. But make sure to go check out his films. I'm going to have all his information posted up. Check out the links uh, and uh, follow everything, guys. Uh, again, uh, appreciate y'all checking us out. Mad love to everybody chasing their dreams. And uh, we're out. We're good. Sacrifice, hustle pay the price, wanna slice, got to roll the dice, that's why, all my life, I've been grinding all my life,